Let me show you what this bad boy can do. Welcome back to another episode of Titanium Man Garage. And if you see my last video, you saw what I had going on with this 2002 Scrambler. Uh, wheel axle bearings are shot. We wiggle them. This whole thing moves. I picked up a used axle because it was a lot uh, easier just to slide the axle in and out than to buy the bearing kit and from what I'm told if um, you buy the bearing kit and you install it incorrectly you blow the bearings out. To avoid that um, I've never actually installed bearings. I've done uh, an axle swap a couple times. I prefer doing it that way. But uh, just to let you know what I got going on here. First thing I did was I, uh, I removed the chain guard that goes down here. You see my last video, I rebuilt the transmission. I installed it, but I left the sprocket off down here. The chain's just hanging right here. I did that for a reason, because when I remove this axle, I won't have to worry about taking that sprocket off. I can just slip the chain on, put the small sprocket on, and just slip it on, put the little C-clip on, and boom, I'm done. For starters, I'm gonna tear that thing apart because that swing arm isn't right. I just need the axle. And then I'm gonna take the tires off, brake caliper off, and there's a C-clip right down here, a really big one. inch wrench and socket, 9 16 wrench and socket, and a 5 8 wrench and socket. And that should probably get you through pretty much everything you need to tear this apart. And a stronger battery. <laughs> thing is there's a huge c-clip right here just showed you earlier I'm gonna take that out and then the sleeve pops off so that c-clip is right here this will expand pop off you gotta take a, a flat screwdriver and hammer and I pop the sleeve off then I can take this disc off so I'll use something like this that c-clip off spread out with this thing, it didn't spread quite far enough. Take the screwdriver, just kind of popping the rest of the way off. Ooh, don't lose it. Well, that's focusing on the camera, but that is your C-clip. Thank you. 
pull a sleeve off. sleeve comes off right like that. It's got like a pentagon look to it. And now you can take the disc off. So you take those out, pop this off, and there are two bolts that hold the, the bracket on for the brakes. And this one here, and another one back here. I'm gonna take those off. And I don't have to take this off. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, depending on how you want to take it apart. I'll undo those two bolts, I'll spread this apart, and this thing will just slide right out. All right, so then I took the bracket for the disc brakes off. That sits right like so. It's actually split in two halves like this. Took the half inch bolts out of the bottom and just came apart. Now there really isn't much left. We'll take those two off, spread this out, and slide it out. All right, let's get to the fun part. All you do is you pry this up a little bit. Oh, another thing you want to do is this thing is oblong. You want to spin it so it's at its smallest point. I believe it's about right there. Spread that down a little bit. <clears throat> She's ready to pull. Let's do it, folks. Piece of cake. I slide the new one in. Make sure you get everything lined up right. And the hard part is if you spread these out, now you gotta pinch them back together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuck it up a little closer and then I'm going to get everything lined up. Oh, that's just the space. So 
creep on the right side of the pole. chain on. Like I said, this uh, carrier is oblong, so when you spin it, it actually makes the chain tighter or looser. If you remember, this came off the 400. So, I wonder if the gear ratio is different. So I think I'm going to use 500 gears. Yeah, teeth are a little closer together. You can see that in the camera compared to this one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that off and then I'm gonna install that on there. And there's nothing really to that. Back to the heavy gun again. This thing is pretty stubborn. See that in the camera. <clears throat> My tripod broke, so I you guys sitting on a little bench today. And I think I'm gonna clean that up right away. Alright, so I'm just tightening them bolts down. The sprocket. And I'll torque them down and then I'll put the uh, chain cover over it. Alright, so now I'm going to put the chain cover on. So the wrench goes on the back side where the bolt is. Down. On one of them, you'll have to spin it. Probably torque them down too. This side's done. Chain on. I still have the sprocket off up here. So I'm gonna have to loosen that back up when I'm done. Turn this one way or another to get a little slop. And I usually go about two fingers of play and then tighten that down. So the next thing is we uh, 
put this bad boy back together. All right, so I put my disc on. That's pretty good. I know this gun's about 22 foot pounds when I torque it down, so I'm not gonna check the torque spec on that. And then the sleeve goes back over. I'm gonna use the new sleeve because that one's pretty. It's got a little foam washer thingy. I got that in place and double side in. Slide right on there. Call our day. My sort of tools here, but get this bad boy back on. All right, guys, got her all done. Two things to keep in mind that I actually forgot about. So, one, before you put the sprocket on and the chain cover, slip the chain on the sprocket while it's up a little higher and then slide it on the bolts. It makes it a lot easier to get this on. It was one about two fingers of play. I think you can see on the side, about two fingers of play, because you gotta remember when somebody sits on this thing, she's gonna squat, and that's gonna tighten up the chain. Next thing is, make sure you leave this loose, so when you turn this to adjust your chain tensioner, um, if that's tight, you're not gonna be able to spin that. So leave that loose, and you'll be able to spin that to loosen and tighten your chain and tighten your bolts and boom you are done. So that's how you replace the rear axle in a scrambler. Actually uh, pretty much any of your scrambler. Hope you enjoyed this video and like always till next time.